Hey, my name is uh, Jonas Sorgenfrei. I'm a pipeline developer and head of FX at RiseFX in Berlin. Thanks for joining this talk about our open source framework Flowpipe. These are the bullet points I will briefly touch in this lightning talk. <clears throat> Flowpipe is a lightweight framework flow, flow, for flow-based programming in Python and was inspired by commonly experienced challenges in VFX and animation pipelines. The main benefits of the frameworks are visualization of code and modules and their dependency on execution, which represents complex workflows, building a reusable generalized function and module blocks, <clears throat> and a build uh, in concurrency for efficient code execution. The goal of the architecture is to provide a streamlined code design which is easily extensible um, without proprietary dependencies. <clears throat> the framework can be installed via pip and the source code um, example and documentations are available on GitHub. <clears throat> the framework creator and repository owner is uh, Paul Schweitzer, Schweitzer, who is the head of pipeline at RISE. Unfortunately, he couldn't join today. Also, the entire RISE pipeline team has made numerous code contributions. <clears throat> the, core of the, two uh, the core are two elements of the frameworks, uh, the nodes and the graph. Each of them has a reference to the other. Graphs and nodes both have inputs that are represented as dictionary of input plug instances. Both classes also provide outputs that are represented by output plug class. Input plug and output plug are subclasses of iPlug that can store values and connections. <clears throat> node creation and definition can be done either via subclassing from the iNode class and defining input and output plugs as well as metadata in the constructor and the actual um, executable code in the compute function. Or via a node decorator factory that avoids some boilerplate code. And the executable code can be defined in the function itself. In both cases, the execution operation returns a dictionary with the output values of the node based on uh, custom computation implementations. <clears throat> These two code snippets are showing actual node implementations. The left example shows a node implementation that creates a Houdini work file from a template file for a specific project and shot. The metadata defines the interpreter Houdini using the interpreter keyword in the metadata proved to be a good concept in a multi-DCC environment. The code imports the DCC's Python modules inside of the node. This way, the node itself can be available outside in a pure Python environment. The right example shows an EXR sequence to a QuickTime movie conversion using the FFM, FFmpeg command line tool run in a Python subprocess. <clears throat> Graphs define the dependencies between nodes. Uh, on node instance creation, the nodes are associated with the graph's object that they belong to via the graph parameter. Nodes can be connected via the plugs connect function that connects outputs to input plugs. By using the graphs uh, at plug function, it is possible to promote um, node plugs as graph plugs, allowing graphs to be used as nested and subgraphs. Uh, graphs also support input plug groups that can group multiple input plugs. On graph evaluation, each node is being evaluated in the order of their dependencies. Using this concept uh, allows to create a more complex graph. Here this is the uh, VFX rendering example from the Git repository. To help visualize these more complex graphs, we provide a second module, the Flowpipe Editor, that is a QT widget based on the Node Graph QT framework by Johnny Chan, available on GitHub. While our final goal is to use and provide the Flowpipe Editor as an actual editor to create and modify graphs, it serves as a visualizer only at this time. Flowpipe uses evaluators to control uh, the evaluation of a graph. For node graphs that just need sequential threaded or multiprocessing evaluation, the graphs evaluation function can use any of the three provided evaluators. To gain more control over how the graph is evaluated, custom evaluators can be used. They are subclasses of the Flowpipe Evaluator class and in implementing the evaluate nodes method, which takes care of the actual node evaluation. This example only prints the name of the node to be evaluated and its metadata. However, using this information, node evaluation can be performed within interpreter-based subprocesses of the DCC's Python uh, interpreters. Flowpipe uh, scales uh, well for render farm execution or multi-DCC execution. 
Uh, an overview of how Flowpipe Evaluation operation operates in a more complex distributed system is shown here. The evaluator initially, initially writes the nodes and graphs serialized data into a centralized storage system, such as a database. During the node evaluation, each node retrieves the necessary input data, such as the values of the connected input plugs from the storage. Node evaluation can occur in the current session within interpreter-based subprocesses or in a fully uh, distributed render farm environment with defined job dependencies. It's worth mentioning that the framework itself doesn't provide the multi-interpreter uh, implementation out of the box, but various examples how to integrate it into an, any environment with various DCCs. In such distributed uh, scenarios, the centralized storage system plays a critical role as uh, each node is evaluated independently and must query the output data of its um, connected input nodes. After evaluation, the node's output is written back into the storage, making it available for downstream nodes. A code implementation of this conversion and execution can be found in the VFX render farm conversion in the Flowpipe repository. As a more advanced implementation example, we are providing a Git repository demonstrating the integration and communication between Flowpipe and Celery as a task queuing system. In this setup, the nodes of a graph are converted into Celery tasks, which can uh, be scheduled and distributed using Celery's execution framework. Additionally, by integrating Flower as a web-based uh, monitoring tool, it is possible to inspect the status and task along with the serialized node data and values. By using Flowpipe as a node-based dependency framework, it is possible to modulize workflows for better control and re reusability, having a unified way to convert graphs and its nodes to farm jobs or tasks, and though providing a unified render farm abstraction that is split into three parts. The graph to job and task dependency conversion, the evaluation of nodes on the farm, and the data transfer handling between the nodes on the farm. Using uh, the node's metadata, it is possible to define and store any farm-specific settings that can be used during the graph to job farm conversion setup. Making Flowpipe uh, the core component of the RISE pipeline environment helped us to clean up and improve lots of farm dependency and workflow code. We've added the Flowpipe editor based on the node graph QT framework as visualization tool for Flowpipe graphs pre and post uh, farm submission. We connected Flowpipe to our render farm by creating a Flowpipe to FNSD farm conversion module with Redis as the key value storage in between. Using this farm infrastructure, we were able to connect Flowpipe to DCCs such as Houdini, Maya, Nuke, Mari, and other applica uh, Python applications that can evaluate the Flowpipe nodes. All the applications are connected with our USD-based layer pipeline and our internal database management for data transfer. Based on that infrastructure, we were able to uh, create more complex systems such as a validator, extractor, and integrator evaluation graph for the test-driven export and publish framework Pipelish, a web-based service, uh, web service based connection into Python actions for our database uh, project management tools, a unified uh, asset ingestion delivery and transfer workflow, uh, our internal semi-automatic Nuke-based SlabCom framework SlabStick that can be used to automatically create SlabComs based on Nuke templates, and RiseFlow, our internal 3D department-focused system that gives artists the ability to work on multiple contexts and define pipeline automatization and workflows. Taking a closer look on the RiseFlow system in Flowpipe, which provides the option to submit Houdini work file template dependencies over multiple shots or assets potentially automatically, and those save artist resources and create unified workflows. As an example, a unified QC template can be automatically run on shot or asset layer published uh, DCC independent. For this workflow, we abstract the Flowpipe graph creation into a simple, uh, simplified action module based on user interface. Uh, based user interface that is creating graphs and uh, graph concatenations based on user settings. I will break this Houdini-based execution action down into its components. First, we query the latest template from the database. Based on the template, we create a new work file version in the shot or asset context. The artist has the option to set and override parameters that are transferred onto a control node in the newly created work file based on the user interface uh, the action provides. The next node will submit the dependency network in the Houdini file that is connected to a specific node, which can include uh, simulations, caches, renderings, and USD layer exports or publishes. Afterwards, the graph will wait until the dependency network has successfully been evaluated on the far render farm. 
In case a dependency network includes any USD uh, layer exports, we both qu query uh, the corresponding database asset and merge it with the incoming layer uh, database assets. When concatenating Houdini template or work file ex execution, we use that layer data uh, information to pin these layer versions with our USD asset resolver in the following actions, and though handle the extra data transport and version loading within USD. In our artist-friendly publish workflow based on Publish, we integrated RiseFlow as a post-publish action. These actions can be added and configured by artists or automatically and will be executed after a successful publish, um, which is a USD layer export. And directly use the exported layers as pinning to load that version in. This example shows how the execution actions will be concatenated to a more complex graph. We are planning to integrate more static type code and type node plug, uh, plugs into the framework, which would also allow better user experience in the Flowpipe editor to view and adjust node parameters and also adds better MyPy and PyLint comp compatibility to the framework for developers. Additionally, we are planning to enhance the editor's capabilities to support graph generation execution in the visual, uh, visual editor directly. Thank you very much. Uh, we are happy for any contributions. I will be around if you have any questions.